Hey everyone, JT Curtis here, and well, first of all, just wanted to say hi, Happy New Year to all my friends and followers, and update you on what I've been working on. Since fall of 2020, I've been working on a project long in development. It's a podcast musical called Atomic Rod Reunion. The original idea came to me while I was on tour with Let It Be. What would happen if my high school band reunited 10 years later? And it just sort of evolved from there. I was actually in New Zealand when I wrote one of the first songs for the project, Sweet Raven. Back, sweet Raven. It was initially conceived as a stage musical, and Amanda Cross became my collaborator on it. So Atomic Rod Reunion is a story about a high school band that, after 10 years, reunites. Together we wrote a number of tunes and decided to focus the story mainly on the two lead singers. Jeff Callahan, or JJC, a struggling guitarist. Gee, I wonder where I got that idea. Who's been obsessed over his lawn disbanded group. What can you do? What can you say? And Raven Jones, now a notable rock star, having just left a popular band to reconnect with her rock and roll roots. She won't let me go. And you see their old drama and relationships and everything resurface and seeing them deal with that. I think a lot of people have that feeling. Wouldn't it be great to go back to your teenage years and do it all over again knowing what you know now? It was also the last project I collaborated on with my late father, WGA winning writer Jay Curtis. He envisioned it more as a movie musical, focusing the story and the dialogue. And Amanda and I did eventually release a music video for Sweet Raven. Early 2020, we did a performance of the material at the Bowery Electric, with Megan Rose taking the role of lead singer Raven Jones. We had big plans for this project, but as we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic hit and our plans had to be set aside. Theater and live shows and those kind of things, they aren't happening right now, but podcasts are. So Amanda and I decided to adapt Atomic Rod Reunion as a podcast musical, expanding a scene where the band is interviewed for the Manhattan Hatters XM radio program. The finest in music and the true stories behind it. They tell their story, their rise, and eventual breakup, some truths are revealed, and the songs themselves really personify the story. We were all able to work from home and record our individual parts at home, and we also did Zoom rehearsals, which were really fun. Jeff and Rachel sing most of it. Yeah, the song's called Clueless, and to answer your next question, yes, it was named after the Alicia Silverstone movie. I've still never seen that. That's because you're like, so totally clueless. <laughs> I'm happy to say we've just completed a finished version of the podcast. Coming soon, very exciting, and I can't wait for everyone to hear it. It's gonna be awesome. We currently have a Facebook and Instagram page. Um, if you can all go and like it, that would help us out a lot. Listen to a few songs on Atomic Rod's SoundCloud page. I'm gonna give a couple more updates later on. Just wanted to do a quick update and let you know about the project. So um, check it all out, and just as usual, stay safe, everyone. And... It gets two thumbs up from Buddy Christ. Yes. Uh-huh.